Come on, Kongi. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos. So if you haven't already, push that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. The uncut version of this video is available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below. Along with my new channel, Very Cherry, where the content may vary, but it's still the same old Mary Cherry. So uh, link for that is in the description bar below too. Today, we are watching the final movie for the very recent Godzilla saga i'm watching godzilla versus kong if you watch my previous reaction video kong skull island you would know that i have a deep love for kong so with a title like godzilla versus kong i'm kind of inclined to root for kong just because i have a history of loving kong i saw the 2005 movie with naomi watts and um jack black and andy circus and so i i just remember loving that movie i remember loving kong and just having just a deep love for this monster. And I loved him so much in Kong Skull Island too. Godzilla's very, very new to me. I, as I said, I didn't know even how he looked like before I watched the first movie, the 2014 movie. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited to see some of the other monsters again. I know this one is more recent in terms of when it is set. The previous film that I watched, Kong Skull Island, uh, it was based in the 70s, if I remember correctly, because the dude that was stuck in the island, he was stuck from 1944, and then 30 years later, people came to save him. So so, yeah, with all of that said, I think I'm ready to get into the movie. So without further ado, let's get watching. Oh, there's Kongi. Oh, I missed him. He's so cute, isn't he? Oh, she's so pretty. Presenting a little gift to him. Whoa, look at that throw. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. What have they created? Some kind of shield around Skull Island. Well, it is the current day. Monarch Outpost 236. So technology has definitely advanced. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. I can see the pictures of them versing each other. Whole bunch of defeated creatures. Oh, except for Godzilla and Kong. Lucky they're far away from each other, but I doubt that'll last, <laughs> considering the title of this movie. <laughs> this is going to be epic. I know, I can already see. Oh my god. Titan alert? That's very alarming. That looks like Godzilla. Hello? Oh shit. Uh-oh. Why is he so mad? He's so mad. Godzilla, what are you doing? Dude. Why is he destroying the people? I don't understand. Something must have happened. As he was a lot friendlier <laughs> before. Wow, Millie Bobby Brown looks a lot older. I haven't seen her in a while. In terms of like, I feel like she's a teenager now. Why else would Godzilla flash an intimidation display if there wasn't another Titan around? Yeah, exactly. Creatures like people can change. Yeah. Right now Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. Hey, don't forget, he killed your brother. The only coastal apex hub with an advanced robotic lab. That apex is at the heart of the problem. Okay, I see. That's why he was provoked. His energy signal is enormous. And almost identical to Oh, they're, they're talking about Kong. Have a weapon that can compete with yep. That's why they bring Kong. I was wondering how Kong could possibly get to Godzilla if he's in Skull Island. This would be why. All of our forward scans suggest a habitable environment down there. Hmm, habitable? <laughs> I don't think it's very habitable. Make the journey to Hollow Earth possible, Dr. Wynn. We need you uh, information. Going to the Earth's core, that's going to be pretty hot. Oh, yeah. The Kong Whisperer, huh? Mm, this little girl is so cute. 
I wonder if she's her mother, Dr. Aline, or did she adopt her from from the island? I don't think that's a, a good idea at all. We gotta stop Godzilla. This is our only chance. They are completely misreading Godzilla's intentions. I don't like this. Doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Oh, sick song. They have. <laughs> He's sedated. <laughs> He's chilling. Oh my gosh, that's still really scary. Imagine if he like wakes up and he's just like so mad that he's chained up and, and he's angry. I would not want to be the one that has to take him out of his chains. What if Kong doesn't go willingly? What do you do then? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been wondering the whole time. I know this for sure. Kong bows to no one. <laughs> well, Godzilla bows to no one, so that's going to be a problem. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna... this isn't gonna end well. Is she supposed to be out there? No, she is not supposed to be out there. I... I don't think Kong will hurt her though. She's not afraid at all. She doesn't see him as a threat. Oh, how cute. See, Kong is such a sweetheart. He doesn't believe it. She can communicate with him? Um, oh, wow! What? He knows sign language! That is... That's so cool. That is freaking epic. What? Oh, my God. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I like the dynamic of these two characters. Yo, we want lots of candy. Oh, Dean <laughs> Bernie. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A little bribe to make the guy talk. It's no. Kids know how to get the info. I drink tap water. Yeah, I kind of figured that. That's funny. Breaking in the apex. Wait, what? You heard her? She's so badass. Tap water. <laughs> you heard it, tap water. <laughs> Who knew that could be an insult? <laughs> oh god. The Kong saved her. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise then and there to protect her. Oh. Do you think he would take directions from her? Oh my god, this motherfucker <laughs> wants to use the little girl. Seems like she can do more than just communicate with him. She can feel his energy. The world needs him. What's this music? This music is very intense. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Now it's code red. Everybody's running. Little girl knew ahead of time. What'd you say? Godzilla. Godzilla? <gasps> oh my god, Godzilla has found their ship. Godzilla knows now. Shit, what, and Kong is like locked up. They need to let Kong go right now. He's so close now. He is a sitting duck, dude. Are they head to head right now? Oh my gosh, this, no! Oh no, oh, poor Kong. Oh my God. This is not fair. He's stuck to the ship, and the ship is upside down right now. Oh my god, just release the freaking chains, dude. Oh, finally! Finally! Can they can they please stop fighting underwater? I'm scared for Kong. I don't know how long he can stay underwater for. But then again, where else would they fight? <laughs> I don't want them to fight on any of those ships. <laughs> You know, Kong doesn't have the breath thing that Godzilla does, so I feel like Godzilla's gonna win. Plus, if Godzilla's the king of the monsters, what does that make Kong? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know who to root for! I love them both, but I love Kong! 
Godzilla's more powerful, clearly. Jump, dude, jump, jump, jump. Jump, oh no, oh no. Oh my God. Kong's not doing so well. This is Godzilla's domain. This is his territory. They really should have just kept Kong on Skull Island. Oh my god, what the hell? Look at that! Oh, that's crazy. This won't end until one of them submits. Kong should just submit because this is Godzilla's territory. We're playing dead. No, we're making him think that he's won. <sighs> that's the best way to do it. Well, she looks scary. Oh, please, Kong, just... Just also play dead. That's like the best thing you can do right now. Just play dead. Oh, thank God. He is turning away for now. For now. Kong took a really big beating. But this is the best case scenario. I like this Kiwi guy. Anyone know where this leads to? She's just as smart as her mother. <laughs> so like eggs. Skull eggs. Uh oh, skull crawlers. That's bad. They're making skull crawlers. That is probably why our friend Godzilla was so triggered at the beginning. He knew, he sensed it. Oh wow, what a fast vehicle. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, poor baby. Wow, he's just woken up from a very long rest. And now he's an in Antarctica. <laughs> Bit of a culture shock, I imagine. It's way too cold. He came from a jungle. Jungle island. <laughs> Oh. This is like the sweetest thing I have ever seen. What? Oh my gosh. Look at the vortex. So this is inside the Earth's core. Well, they're getting inside the Earth's core. Oh my god, he's. Yep, he's fallen too. They're all fallen. Oh my god. Oh, what? Your silence. I wonder if anyone's actually been inside the Earth's core before. Is that a stupid question to ask? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's impossible. <laughs> I never thought it was possible, but uh, of, of course, this is a movie, so anything's possible. <laughs> wow. It just... No, I, I don't think this is possible. Look at the way they're falling into the into the Earth's core. <laughs> the gravity does not work the same way as it does on Earth inside the Earth's core. Have they landed or are they are they on some? Oh, oh okay, the gravity's kind of getting it's normal now. The sky seems like it's mountains and then okay, so the gravity it seems like he's still floating though a little bit that purple stuff oh yep there's some monsters so the titans come from the earth's core that's pretty cool now i can i can safely say that i definitely don't think this has ever happened before <laughs> oh no what the hell is this it's very beautiful though look at oh my god oh lord oh oh yes here we go go kong oh my god <laughs> Their blood is green as well. At least I think it's blood. Oh my gosh. He's suffocating Kong. Die, motherfucker. I feel like this place is really dangerous for Kong. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> oh. oh. He's, he's gone through a lot today. Oh my god. Yep. That was definitely green blood that I saw earlier. Blood is green. Its blood is green. Okay. Mm hmm. That's not what I wanted to see. Look at the way he's jumping. Has he always jumped like that, or is it the gravity? I'm still unsure how the gravity works here. And there's like floating rocks here. It's like the opposite here, or something. 
Wow, what is this purple stuff? It looks very cool. Oh, wow. He's flying! <laughs> How fun. Kind of statue? What is this? Get a proper look. A giant room. Oh my god, dude. Burn me! Have some chill, man! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, there's a corporate friendly term for sacrifice pit. We are in it. Sacrifice pit doesn't sound very good at all. Oh my gosh, I am nervous. Something something is gonna happen. Something's opening. The heck is this? Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> is that guy alright? What's happening? Is he controlling this? Robotic monster? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's Robot Godzilla. That's Mega Godzilla. Mega Godzilla? Uh oh. It's human controlled. Number 10. Oh no. Oh no, not number 10. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a scroll cra skull crawler. Oh no, get out of the sacrifice- sacrificing- sacrificing pit! Get out, get out! I can't even speak English right now! Oh no, this- this skull crawl is about to be sacrificed. Oh shit! Whoa, okay, this man- this man is getting pleasure from killing the skull crawler too. Fully smiling. Oh, that is one powerful beam. Literally, this is exactly it. At least we can understand where Godzilla's coming from now. Godzilla already knows what's going on. He's going back to the Apex headquarters for round two. <laughs> I wonder if Hong will help Godzilla versus Robot Godzilla. Maybe that's what this title is. That's what I'm hoping. Because I don't want to see Godzilla and Kong fight and then one of them die, you know? I don't want to see that. I feel like I would be very sad. Either way, whoever wins, I would be sad. This place is crazy. How they, like, imagined the Earth's core ancient civilization is pretty cool. This place is huge compared to Kong. Oh my god, it looks... it looks beautiful! He looks like a little ant compared to this giant place. Oh wow. What is that? An axe. Ah, oh, he's liking it here. He's loving it. Have, have they checked the atmosphere? <laughs> the radiation levels or whether it's safe to breathe? I mean, what's that all of that purple stuff and is it safe? <laughs> is, what, what, are the, what are those eyes? Those blinky things. He's sitting on a throne. It's what? It's, it's a, a titan skull. That's Master Zero. Ghidorah. Ghidorah. Ghidorah head. Apex has fucked up royally. There is... I don't know if there's a turning back. He's so mad. He is so mad. And I don't blame him. Look how beautiful Hong Kong is, though, with the lights. Oh, well, those people are dead. <laughs> Ooh. It's cool how it's glowing. Where is he going to put it? Ah. This is going to trigger something. Let's see. Drawing radiation from the core like it's charging. Oh. How are they out here just t completely fine with all this radiation around them? <laughs> wow, looks like Godzilla. Does that mean he was king of this ancestral home of Kongs? Indicating that they've coexisted? Or that they could coexist? Oh my gosh. What the hell? Godzilla's shooting into the ground. Wow. Right after Kong activated that axe, Godzilla started attacking the ground. He knows. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> She's like, peace. <laughs> oh my lord. Wow. He has, has he, oh my god, he has created a hole. Jesus. All the way down. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. Oh! Bish died! <laughs> Uh, karma. That's karma. I definitely think that axe is going to help him in round two. Our maintenance. You don't have to alert the the oh my fire. god. Go. She doesn't believe that you're maintenance, dude. You gotta stop saying that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Stop playing dumb. <laughs> Not helping your situation. Kind of stuck to stuck in a corner here. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Everybody needs to vacate this city right now. Oh my god. Kong and Godzilla are at it again. And this time, they're on flat ground, so maybe Kong has a chance now. And he's got an axe, just both being super alpha right now. Oh god. Or rest in peace to the buildings. That's a theme of these movies. Rest in peace to all buildings that have been victim to titans. He's like shutting his mouth. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. All I can say is thank God for this axe, this magical axe, because if it wasn't for this axe, a Kong would be dead, basically. Oh my God. And now his axe is missing too. This is not good. This, this city is fucked, man. He's hurt now. Kong's hurt. He's still running. Oh my gosh, he's squeezing through the tiny buildings. Well, they're tiny to him. Maybe it'd be a good idea to bring Mecha Godzilla out here just to calm the real Godzilla down because he's a little bit overpowered. Come on, Kongi. Oh, she. Oh my God. Oh my God. That hurt Kong more than it hurt Godzilla, I think. Oh no, it's her Godzilla too. It would be great if they just both fell down and just didn't get up for, I don't know, 10 minutes. It's had a bit of a cooling period. <laughs> Godzilla has left us in peace. You provoked him into war. Yeah, idiot. I guess they would rather have an alpha or a king that they can control. So Mecha Godzilla, probably better for them. They can't really control Godzilla. Oh, shit. Caused the distraction and then attacked him from behind. The oldest trick in the book. Godzilla's mad as fuck. He wasn't using his full strength before, but he is going right at him now. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, oh no. Just submit to Godzilla, please, Kong. It's the best thing you can do. Please just submit to him. Oh, Baba. I think he just walked away from that, allowing Kong to live because he's like, dude, I'm the king. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, Kongy. Please don't try and fight him again. That's, that's the only thing I can say here. At least he didn't kill Kong, okay? He just kind of showed him who was boss. He put him in his place. And he didn't kill him. So thank you, Godzilla. It's not only Godzilla's people, but he's superior. Oh, Mecha Godzilla is superior to. Oh my God! What the fuck? Oh 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 oh! Look behind you, dude. The pilot has been disconnected. The the monster has a mind of its own. Oh my God! Oh my God!
Gosh, he looks bruised and battered, doesn't he? Look at his poor face. Are they... They just walked away from each other. That is definitely the best outcome <laughs> out of this. He's going back into the water, I think. Kong now understands that Godzilla is the king of the monsters. That's, that's, that's great. Now they can coexist. They can fight bad guys together. <laughs> Hopefully they won't need to anymore, though, because that Megatron situation certainly didn't play out how Apex anticipated. Oh. Oh, are they are they living in the core again? Oh, I love this song. Oh, he's so happy now. What a beautiful ending. Oh, I love that ending. Oh, I love this song. And I love this ending. <laughs> that was so good. That was freaking epic. I think this has got to be my favorite monster movie so far. And I've seen five at this stage, if we're including the 2005 King Kong. That's obviously not in this franchise, but I'm still including that in the monster movies that I've seen. And I loved it so much because I think the best part of the movie for me was one, the fact that Godzilla allowed Kong to live after that whole fight. They they had two fights basically you know he could have he could have 100 percent been like you know what fuck you dude i'm gonna kill you but he didn't then that's what a good king is he is the king of the monsters after all and that is what a king does they show mercy but they still instill fear in <laughs> their minions do you know what i mean so it's cool um i also liked how kong kind of settled down as well he completely understood in the end that godzilla isn't the enemy and he is the king you know and now he respects the king so that was really nice how they came together and they fought mecha godzilla together and i also have to talk about the little girl who i have found out her name is kaylee hoddle and she is actually um deaf in real life i think she did an incredible job in her performance i absolutely loved this little girl actress she made me feel so emotional i just felt so bad for her and all of her people died as well which is really sad if you watched um kong skull island you know all of those people in that island they were so beautiful and helpful to that man that soldier that veteran that uh happened to be in that island as well for a number of years well 30 years actually so that was really sad and i loved the relationship the little girl had with Eileen as well i thought it was very wholesome Eileen essentially adopted gia and so did kong they were like her adoptive parents and i thought it was really sweet especially how kong loved her so much i can kind of understand Eileen, but kong is a monster after all and he understood her and he loves her and he wants to protect her and he's now so happy living in the earth's core with his incredible new weapon the axe weapon which came super in handy in that last fight because kong essentially was the one that destroyed mecha godzilla he i mean he had help obviously but it was his axe and his he head pulling that did the trick in the end and you know that wouldn't have been made possible as well if it wasn't for Bernie, Madison, and Josh, because they kind of helped as well. They, I mean, the human characters aren't the highlight or the focus of these monster films. Obviously, it's the monsters, but they did help because they infiltrated the Mecha. They tried, at least. They tried to infiltrate the Mecha Godzilla, and they did provide a distraction. So that was really good. I really love Millie Bobby Brown's acting in everything, and especially in the end scene when she was reunited with her father. I thought that was really sweet. Um, and I'm glad that her dad didn't lose another child as well because she was in probably the worst place she could have been in the world where it was all going down. I feel uh, bad in all of these movies for all the beautiful cities that get destroyed and um, all the buildings as well. But obviously it's all fake, but <laughs> I'm, that's always in the back of my head. I'm like, oh, but the architecture, the buildings, no. Um, and the casualties, the people that died died of course yeah so i'm really happy with how that ended i'm happy for godzilla i'm happy for kong really really great movie let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below
give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it really helps my channel out the uncut version is on patreon as always thanks again so much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you in my next video bye guys